This is Imperial Poultry, geographic and population center of fabulous, sunny Florida, a region with a unique record, the wealthiest county in the Sunshine State, combining the natural beauty of gently rolling hills and sparkling blue freshwater lakes with opportunities for industry that make for true Florida living in Imperial Polk County. Citrus is king in Imperial Polk County. This is the greatest citrus area in all the world. Polk County annually produces more than one third of the state's golden harvest. Haines City, the gateway city to Imperial Polk County, is one of the leading citrus producing areas of the county. These visitors to Imperial Polk take time out from their sightseeing to enjoy the unique experience of picking fresh oranges right off the trees in a grove in the Haines City area. The trees are made doubly beautiful by the fragrant orange blossoms which perfume the air. Here in the gently rolling Lake Ridge section of central Florida, the vast groves of citrus trees stretch as far as the eye can see. More than six million trees in all, annually producing more than 30 million boxes of fruit. Rich, juicy, golden oranges. Plump, zesty grapefruit. Tasty tangerines with a zipper skin. These and many more citrus fruits are harvested from trees that thrive on Imperial Polk's rich soil, protected by the same mild, even year-round climate with an abundance of sunshine that is so helpful for you and me. Pickers scale tall ladders to harvest the golden crop, filling their picking bags and then dumping the fruit into field crates. Large trucks transport the fruit to huge plants for processing, either to be packed as fresh fruit and rushed to market, or made into single-strength canned juice or frozen concentrate. The fruit is thoroughly washed and scrubbed by machinery as it enters the plant. Then keen-eyed inspectors carefully check the fruit for any imperfections. The fruit is quickly grated and moves along the conveyors to a sizing machine. This fruit is going to be canned as juice, so it is fed into other machines which gently squeeze the juice into large stainless steel mixing and blending tanks. Quality control is of paramount importance, and samples are frequently taken from each tank for laboratory testing and checking by technicians of the United States Department of Agriculture. With its quality assured by the USDA, the vitamin-rich juice is quickly canned by unique machines, which fill and seal each can in a matter of seconds, untouched by human hands. Then it is ready for grocer's shelves throughout the world. In addition to its industry, Imperial Polk is noted for its outstanding scenic attractions, including Box Singing Tower, Cypress Gardens, The Great Masterpiece, and many others. Here, our sightseers visit the stately and impressive Singing Tower at Mountain Lake, near Lake Wales. The tower, a gift to the American people from Edward Bach, is located in beautifully landscaped grounds on the highest point in peninsular Florida. Each year, thousands of persons from all parts of the world come to marvel at its beauty and listen to the recitals by Anton Breeze, famous Carol Anur. Next stop on our sightseeing tour of Imperial Polk is the great masterpiece, also near Lake Wales. Here, rendered in mosaic, is located the Da Vinci Last Supper, which each year attracts thousands of visitors amid scenes of tropical beauty and color. The curtains part to reveal Da Vinci's great masterpiece in a never to be forgotten experience. No visit to Polk County, or Florida for that matter, would be complete without a trip to beautiful Cypress Gardens, located near Winter Haven, known the world over as America's tropical wonderland. Cypress Gardens has probably been featured in more TV, newsreel, and color motion pictures than any other attraction on the face of the globe. Flags of all nations fly in the court of flags at the entrance. Inside are found rare and exotic plants gathered from the ends of the earth to form a paradise of beauty. Azaleas, Camellia japonicas, gardenias, and a host of other flowers all bloom in a profusion of colorful beauty along winding paths where girls dressed in old-fashioned costumes lend an air of the Old South. 
Daily water ski shows at Cypress Gardens feature the famous Aquamaids, who have been seen on TV and in newsreels performing high jumps and other trick and acrobatic stunts while skimming over the waters of Lake Eloise. Probably the most famous of all is Willa McGuire, the world's champion, who is a picture of beauty and grace as she uses a single ski to perform her difficult water ballet number. Imperial Polk County leads the world in the production of phosphate. And our next stop is at the general offices of International Minerals and Chemical Corporation at Bartow, one of the large mining companies. Permission is granted to back the car right into the bucket of one of the huge drag lines used in the mining operations so that the children might get some idea of its size. The car fits handily with room to spare, and the children are excited over this experience. Phosphate, a non-metallic mineral of valuable phosphoric acid content, is marketed throughout the world to enrich the soil for agricultural purposes. Polk County alone produces more than 70% of the phosphate mined in the United States. Massive drag lines or shovels are used to strip the earth so that the phosphate rock may be excavated. The rock, mixed with clay, is found at a depth of from 10 to 30 feet. As the phosphate is excavated by the drag lines, it is dumped into a sump where it is mixed with water and pumped to washer plants where the phosphate rock is separated from the clay and sand. The pure phosphate goes to drying plants for further processing. One of the most interesting sidelights at a phosphate mine is searching for fossilized bones of prehistoric monsters and for shark's teeth. And it looks as if the children have struck a bonanza each year, hundreds of other specimens are dug up after having been buried beneath the Earth's surface for millions of years. One of the unusual scenic attractions of the phosphate area of Polk County is Sand Mountain, a man-made hill of sand that can be seen for miles. The sand is from a phosphate washer plant and has been allowed to pile up for several years. Cars can drive right up to the base of the mountain and children get a big thrill climbing the giant sand heap. Especially tumbling down its sides. Cattle raising is big business in Imperial Polk, which boasts more beef and dairy herds than any other county in the state. Improved pastures, like this one, framed by moss-draped oaks, has been one of the principal factors in the rapid growth of this industry. Herds of purebred stock like these are a familiar sight in Imperial Polk. And citrus pulp, a feed made as a byproduct of the citrus industry, is fed in troughs to make the cattle fat and sleek. Educational facilities in Imperial Polk are among the finest in the Sunshine State. In addition to its excellent public school system, Polk County has two colleges. One of them, Florida Southern College at Lakeland, shown in these scenes, is outstanding for its modernistic buildings, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, internationally famous architect. Weber College at Babson Park was founded by famed statistician Roger W. Babson. Along with its superb educational facilities, Polk County is justly proud of its many fine churches, representing all denominations. Imperial Polk provides a wealth of wholesome recreation for young and old alike. Its freshwater lakes, more than 600 of them, are ideal for fishing, boating, swimming, and water skiing. Not an unusual sight is this of a car pulling a boat and trailer for an afternoon of sport on the water. Numerous fishing camps dot the area, and many motels provide facilities for swimming, boating, and water ski instruction. This one provides a ramp, which makes boat launching a simple operation. One of the most popular sports for all ages is water skiing. Actually, most everyone can learn to water ski with a few lessons, 
And if you have a pretty instructor like this, the sport is even more enjoyable. With the wind in your face and the spray trailing from your skis, the experience is one that will linger long in your memory. If you prefer something less strenuous, golf, tennis, shuffleboard, and lawn bowling are but a few of the countless other forms of recreation offered by cities and towns throughout the county. Many quiet, restful streams crisscross the county. Here the boat is going up the canal into Peace River Park, where the fabulous Fossil and Phosphate Museum is located. Many lakes in Polk are connected by canals, which are navigable for small boats, affording many hours of outdoor fun and recreation. There are just as many ways to fish in Polk County as there are species of fish in its lakes. Our hero has ingeniously rigged up a bell on the end of his pole, which sounds the alarm that a fish has been hooked. His wife rushes to the pole to make sure, then dashes back to wake hubby, who is taking life easy in the hammock. She's all excited. He's just sleepy. But a fish is a fish, and that hammock doesn't hold him for long. Everyone crowds around to see the catch. A beautiful black bass, just right for flying size. And what about little sister? While Daddy has been taking life easy, she's been catching fish. Look at that string of beauties. Like we said, there are ways to fish, and there are ways to catch fish. Polk is truly an imperial county, a cosmopolitan population, the friendliness and congeniality of medium-sized towns, a home of your own, good schools and churches, thriving industries with many job opportunities, efficient public servants, recreation for young and old alike, all symbols of good living in Imperial Polk County. <laughs>